Ultra Seal XT Hydro Sealant is a light cured, radiopaque resin sealant for the sealing of pits in fissures. It has an ideal thixotropic viscosity and is moisture forgiving, making placement easy. It's stronger and more wear resistant because it's 53% filled resin and has less polymerization shrinkage than competitive products. Ultra Seal XT Hydro Sealant provides unparalleled adhesion for high retention in patients. To prepare Ultra Seal XT Hydro Sealant for placement, attach an Inspiral brush tip or blue micro tip to an Ultra Etch 35% etchant syringe. Attach an Inspiral brush tip to an Ultra Seal XT Hydro Sealant syringe. If needed, adjust the bristle length by grasping them and moving them in or out. Verify the flow of all syringes prior to using them intraorally. If resistance is met, replace the tip, then recheck. Be sure to only use recommended tips. To prepare the tooth prior to applying the sealant, use high magnification and one of the following methods. Air abrasion with appropriate particles. A thin diamond fissure or prep burr. Consepsis scrub slurry. Or one of these additional methods. Once the tooth surface is prepared, apply Ultra Etch Etchant, a 35% phosphoric acid etchant, to the fissures for 30 seconds on uncut enamel or for 15 seconds on cut enamel. Thoroughly rinse the tooth. Lightly air dry the tooth to remove visible moisture. This allows the hydrophilic chemistry to flow deep into the pits and fissures. Do not over dry or desiccate the tooth. Before you begin placement, it's important to note that PrimaDry drying agent should not be used with UltraSeal XT Hydro Sealant. Express a small drop of UltraSeal XT Hydro Sealant into the grooves. Work the resin down into the grooves with the brush tip. The spiral brush action of the Inspiral brush tip causes shear thinning of the Thixotropic UltraSeal XT Hydro Sealant. The resin stops flowing when the shear thinning ceases and placement is complete, preventing it from running before it can be light cured. Light cure the resin using a Velo LED curing light on standard power for 10 seconds or for three seconds on extra power mode. Finally, use an explorer to ensure that pits and fissures are sealed. Adjust occlusion if necessary. After placement and on returning visits, use a black light to check for visual verification of marginal retention.